Right, hello everybody, welcome to the Losers Bracket Game number th round number three of Blitz Pit number nine. I'm here with Gorilla Metal. All right, we are kicking off the most awaited game of the tournament. On one side, you've got Rick Reckless, the streamer extraordinaire, the Blood Bowl Jesus, the beloved by all. And on the other side, you got just maybe the one man who could steal Rick Reckless' his, uh, fan base with just a uh, smile and his hypnotic gaze. It's Regor, the Portuguese. Pounder. Oof. Well, nope, we're going no. off the rails there. No. He's great. We're rooting for we're we're rooting for a hell of a game here. It's Regor versus Rick. Yeah. Who's his bracket plus fan? <laughs> yeah. Not my finest work. No, but hey, at least you uh, <laughs> at least you controlled. I tried. I tried. I tried to toe that line a little bit. At least you controlled yourself, right? Um. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've got Regor with Camry, Rick with Kislev. Because Rick's mad. <laughs> uh, Rego has gone extra arms, which I don't really like. It makes your pick up a little bit better, but I think two heads would have even been better, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm really not excited by the uh, by the extra arms there. And then a claw. So again, like most of the bash teams are going to have a mighty blow tackler and a mighty blow claw guy. So that's what he's got. Um, some guard. Pretty standard. I guess that's how, how most people are running. Um, most teams, most bash teams anyway, bunch of guard, claw mighty and a tackle mighty. Uh, Rick has a tentacles beast <laughs> as well as the, as well as the tail on it, putting all of his eggs into one basket there. Um, I, I'm not really a fan of that, but I can see the point. And okay, <laughs> he's not dead. Sorry, EAB. <laughs> um, and then his other skill is horns on a Randall line. So there you go, and then he's got some blodge, blodge blitzer, dodge guard catches, that's quite nice, isn't it? Dodge sure hands, wrestle strip, wrestle tackle. It's an interesting thing. Rick's just going straight in, all or nothing, right from the get go. Wow, Absolutely. there you go. Absolutely. Play. You got, you know, you got Kemri there, you get the ball on the ground, anything can happen. Yeah, I think two wrestle horns would have been better than, uh, than, the, than the tentacles on the beast, uh, on, the, on the bear for sure. Like that, that seems. You've already got so much TV in the in the bear. I do not like stacking, <laughs> stacking. Like you know, so much of your team build is on the bear, bear already. I don't like stacking even more on it. But there you go. And like some rattle dudes, it's fine, isn't it? Interesting. Uh, no, Mister Yum and Dem, because why would you care about the dice? <laughs> um. Basically, there's no way to put them, is there? I was going to put them at the top, but then then it would be over the chat. Oh, chair. God, Jim. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, remember that thing I told you my dog does the other day? <laughs> <laughs> right, right when the Regor game started, and I got video for you, my friend. Oh, my God. Uh, we don't have to worry about that now, but his timing was impeccable. <laughs> I'll put them all there, a little bit. I know some people like right. looking at the dice, so... Put them... Put them over a bit. Yeah? People, uh, people do... What's going on here? People do like looking at the dice. I don't. Fails the leap in, stuns himself. There you go, Mr. Yum and Dem. They're most of them, isn't it? That's most of them. <laughs> I can just take off Rego. <laughs> I can't, I can't even see Rego, so <laughs> it's not it's not a problem for me. <laughs> I mean, I can see him when I close my eyes, but that's not the same thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I I did take tentacles on a death roll because I thought it was funny, right, which was stupid because it was for money, and I should have I should have tried to make the best team I could, and I just did it because I thought it was funny, which was pretty stupid. <laughs> Um, but realistically, like in these kind of things, just stacking, like stacking on a dancer is different because the dancer is like the best players that you can protect all the time, and they're super reliable and like just your best guys, and you need them to win. Bear is just a bit of a shitty throwaway player, so I re I really don't like putting on the bear. He's already got tail anyway, you know. He's already if you're getting a bear in the right place, he's he's doing some good anyway. I, I really don't like stacking the, stacking the skills on him, but you know. 
It is what it is, isn't it? I wouldn't have taken Kislev anyway. <laughs> and it's just my opinion. Doesn't matter to anyone. Who can say if it's right or wrong? Exactly. He did stun the ball. Well, Rick had. Yeah, Rick has uh, has accomplished putting the ball on the ground uh, for the Camry. That's what you want. The ball on the ground with Kemri getting surrounded. But uh, not the most advantageous position for his team right now. Yeah, he, he gave Rick the 2D, didn't he? Like, it was hard not to, because obviously Rick could just leap in a guard as well, but he didn't even have to leap in the yeah. guard. He just, he just gave him straight up. And we know how ag aggressive Rick is when it comes to coaching his Kislev, so he, he should have definitely been aware that, that you know Rick was winning to come from turn one. Similar to Skuro in that regard. So now he does have... <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thanks. He does have the guards in now, so he, it would require a, uh, a catcher leap in to make it a 2D as it stands. But I guess he is going to be coming hard for those balls every every single turn. <laughs> oh, who's got to contain themselves now, Jim? I've been good. Uh, yeah, Steve, I'll put, it, I'll put it in the wrestling channel because that's where we had been talking about it. Stand up, you bear, first. Come on, come on, bear grills. Stand up, the bear. Into the 2D, first. gets the pow again. Yeah, he does. Armor seven. Doesn't break. <laughs> oh, balls bouncing all in around. Two not in two a terrible zones. scatter. Not, pro not really problematic for the catcher. Now he picks up the bear. And now Rick's entire team is going to get pounded by Regor, and aren't they lucky for it? <laughs> Probably just wants to stand up this guy to get hit by Claw Mighty, because at least he's taken that guy away from the action. Question is whether you just do the 1D here to, to negate the dodges. Probably the 1D is better here. I know, go that way. Rick disagrees, and it pays off for him. Oh. He does the pass to the string <laughs> three board, Jeff. Yeah. Boy. Uh, and now it's can, looking real bad uh, for Regor. Regor can ch well, Regor can chain out that Tomb Guardian he for can. the hit. And he can bring it. He doesn't stand that guy up. Well, so the movie he, he should have done is the first action. The movie he could have done his first action. He just does, runs out of time to do it all. Yeah, he can chain out this guy in multiple ways as well. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. Like he's got a lot of time. He probably just wants to do it the simplest way and then uh, try and knock him down as well and go straight through. They sure are, Dima. You must be new around these parts. We uh, we stick to the French commentary here because it just sounds better. <laughs> yep. Yeah, plum plum plum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, just, it gets boring if you just have the English ones. You've heard it all before. The French commentary was a lot more animated. <laughs> I don't hate the French. <laughs> Yep, his team is getting pounded now. But that one doesn't is, really matter. What? Rick might not care about getting pounded so much if he can score here. He hasn't taken any Kaz yet, right? Yep. No, he hasn't. He just needs the push here, doesn't he? Because he can push into yep. there. Just the push. Gets, Gets the, the pow. Anyway. Now he can push Get up there. Lino. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Oh, Whoa, the there's the removal. See you later, Space yep. Cadet. <laughs> yep. You can't really feel too bad if you're Rick. You, you knew you were setting yourself up for trouble. Yep. I think I might have held it off moving him. The problem is the scatter. There's that edge four right there. Yep. You can just get the ball and score. Yep. That's the problem. You, I hate oh, this. Oh, I like... I uh, hate no, this. I don't like that angle. Yeah, I don't like that angle. I hate this angle. Yep. I would have hit from down. And then yep. you can still push him to there. Yep, like try push to him there. Yeah, put yourself. Him there. Yeah. Terrible. Ragor, you got to put yourself between the ball and the player. And now he can't. Got it. it. I mean, you basically. Got, that was terrible. And he fails the GFI, and Rick is going to score yeah. on him. That was. He, ha he had to hit there as the third square, didn't he? Push him to here, or here, or something. It's four, and then five, six, and pick, be able to pick it up wherever it went. Like he just had to pick it up. He just had to. Like it was horrible. It was a horrible situation. Don't get yeah. me wrong. But he had to give himself the best chance to do it, didn't he? Yeah. But 
Maybe he overthought that a little bit in two minutes. Or one minute, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, but Rick with the one! <laughs> Three rolls, it gets it, and he's in for the score. Thank you, too. Cost him a reroll, cost him a player. Still probably pretty damn happy to be one up on Kemri on their drive. Yeah, that's that's a great start for Rick, and you know it hasn't cost He's gonna him too do it again. much. Oh, it cost him two. I didn't even see the other cast. Yeah, it didn't cost him too much. Like it did cost him two players. He doesn't have reserves. Which I mean, one of those players was Space Cadet, so in some ways it might have made his team better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now, basically, they were the fodder players, right? It was the fodder players, so it didn't cost yeah. him too much. Now everyone exposed is going to be good yeah. um, in some way, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. Like, he might start paying for it. Rick did not have a bench, did he? He's got nine on the no, field now. No, he hasn't got a bench. No, that's, that's rough. That, they, uh, the bear's really costing him. Does he have an apple? Yeah, he's got a yeah. apple, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. What a oh Rick! <laughs> what a look! Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> Regor, if you need a shoulder or a crotch to cry on, <laughs> my name is Gorilla Mezzo, and I live just outside of Boston. I'm not going to dox myself, even for a meme. <laughs> <laughs> wow! This could be the trap, you know, the the classic trap blitz. No. No, probably not. <laughs> What he should do, right, is put his put his catcher there, use diving catch to catch it, and then make it a touchback. <laughs> that would be that would be an epic. <laughs> would that work? Can you? Yeah, I guess you can use diving catch on a on a kickoff. Can yeah, you? but then it would make it a touchback if you did it there. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> brilliant way to lose, wouldn't it? He could genuinely, he could genuinely put the put the catcher one one square further forward. Yeah, that catcher. would actually be. That would probably be pretty worthwhile. Yeah. Where would it scatter from, though? Does it like like if he if he failed to catch it? Then it would just scatter from that square still. It would, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, that that could have actually been pretty good because then it would be covering more more chance of catching it if it scatters. Yeah, so it? so he does. He's got two guys there, right? He's it's got it. Bad. Catches it. Mm, that could be the beginning of the end. <laughs> God, that is a brutal blitz. Game got ricked, absolutely. Uh, it wouldn't be minus one, no, because it'd just be. You can just catch it, it's still a scattering ball, it's still be a four plus. You could have just had it once. Yeah, I gotta say. It yeah. might not work, though, because it's cyanide. <laughs> 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 Probably safer not to try. Oh my god, Regor has oh, just had no luck. Good lord. I, I gotta say, for you know, for for the balls on taking Kislev into Blitz Pit, I, I really love the way Rick Rick approaches the game with this team because it's just like ball to the wall. You know, you could either be two and done, or you could just pull this shit out because you're playing hard. He's playing for these plays, so you can't like you can't look at it and be like, well, Rick's just getting super lucky. Yeah, like he is, but yeah. this is what he's playing the team to do, and he's doing it. Like, yeah. Yeah. oh. Man, the, the blitz is obviously Maybe just insane look. But yeah, 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 the, the, the way that, like he should have honestly, he should have had two horns. He totally should have had two wrestling yeah. horns, dudes. Not just not playing for the blitz wolf, but like he played for that first score the way it happened, and this is exactly what he's meant to do to spiral the game and end it early. Yeah, yeah. Like if you're playing Ricky, you know he's gonna just come for your balls turn one. So it was just yeah. sloppy. It was just needlessly yeah. sloppy by Rego to to let him have an easy one, yeah. an easy two deal. And it. And you you would think a guy with the face like Regor is used to people just going after his balls left, right, and center, <laughs> and that he uh, he would have been ready for it, but he did look a little caught off guard there. Ah, uh, oh, two of the semi wasn't allowed in the rules. Ah, oh, fair enough then. Yeah, two horns would be if it was allowed. I, I didn't read the rules, did I? Wolfpack? back, I didn't need to. I was a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> um, so in that case, I mean, definitely one horns. I don't know what the other one would be then, because like the tail, the tail shit, isn't it? The tail on the, uh, the tail on the, and the stand firm. I hate on the bet. So I don't know what I'd take as the second one. <laughs> maybe very long legs. Oh, they've already got very long legs. Dirt. Two heads on a catcher, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. 
The blitzes need block as well, so you can't stack anything with the blitzes. Tentacle blitzes? No. Very long legs on the bear, yeah. And like, I don't know what else they can have. Like, the two heads you don't really need. I guess you could have gone, like, a two heads catcher. I don't know. Thank you, Bezor. Bezor. Yeah, Wolf, we covered one of your games where your first game, was, which was like half an absolute dicing, wasn't it? Kev. God, my commentary saying how good Kev was at one time. Oh, baby. <laughs> This won't stop him at all. <laughs> that was amazing. I love that your initial reaction was to try and justify it. <laughs> You're like, well, maybe he couldn't do it. No, any player could have been in that spot instead of him. <laughs> no, no, you just he, he, not anyone. He had he had to be on the LOS with a dancer, but he could have just been he could have been further off than GFI would have been. It, it was only half a dicing wolf bark because Kev got the full dicing where, where he got four removals like instantly. At least your four removals came in the second half. Game. Yeah. Absolutely painful game to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Kev got the full dicing. Ooh, go Unseen Walker. I would love mm. to see Unseen Walker go deep in Blitz Pit <laughs> or Ragor. <laughs> Could have made that 3D, didn't, and pays for it yep. with a both down. Like he was getting a follow-up 2D with block, but I still think it was maybe his worth just putting him in, making it the 3D. Didn't have block on that hit. What's Rick doing now? He can get a scoring threat down, can't he? He'll love that, I'm sure. Dodge other people yep. around. Screen him off. Yeah. Bracketing the leak player. Um, you know he's got dodge, so it is it is worth doing. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny to say bracketing the leak player, needlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, advantage try. Yeah, there's only four games, isn't there, going on now? Yeah. Let's pitch challenge. So K Fog losing 1 0 to Unseen. Regal losing 1 0 to Rick. Core Knight winning 1 0 versus Store. And try winning 1 0 versus Dick. Entirely sure Rick Rick needed to fall back that far there. Maybe that was safer though. Okay, try isn't winning, but he's kind of winning. Yeah, yeah, maybe that is a good idea. You can't get bricks, so it's totally safe. It was hard to screen it to be fair. Was you lying on threes to, to be able to screen it? He's got a couple of canoring threats. Oh, last second gets the gets the dodge out. Yeah, it's it's one one, but it's advantage try, isn't it? It's advantage tries. It's advantage try. I yeah, want to see it. I I don't I don't care about anything else. I want to see Ragor double GFI with one of those Tomb yeah. Guardians and hit the yeah. ball and then score with the other one. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, maybe end come the on, well. Maybe end yeah. the double G if not. Um, yeah, it's advantage try, isn't it? Even though it's one one, and yeah, you can't have double horns. I didn't know the rules, so I don't know what you take for the other one. Like I really don't know what you take for the other. Uh, the other. I mean, you just don't take his level. Is the easy answer. Because <laughs> horns for the line, the lineup is great, isn't it? Like if he could, ha if he could have had two horns, that would have been incredible. Especially the way Rick plays him. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't go for the double GFI here because he if he can get this, uh, you know, Tim Guardian back to tie up those two players, that's pretty good. Oh, he's playing it a bit safer. Oh, getting one. Ooh. 
When has safer ever worked out for anyone, though? <laughs> sometimes is the answer. Play safe sometimes. Never. Never. Yeah, the horns wrestle Lino is the obvious thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, maybe claw, but tentacles bear just seems overkill. He's already got. He's already got a. <laughs> God, he's a two heads bear. Jesus. Like it's it's hard. The second the second mutation is hard. I think for Kislev, just because they want to stack two skills on people. Well, on the good players, positionals. That's what I should have said. He's just going for it. Just lobbed it to him. Oh, did he lob it next uh, to him? Make, make yeah, difference. maybe. Wouldn't make any difference. Regor with the Regor has a chance to score here. Wait, did he punt it? Was it hard to focus? Oh yeah, it was a focus normally. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Regor somehow in with a chance now. I mean, not a great chance, but <laughs> it's a chance. Yeah, you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> I think he uh, hit with the wrong person there. Maybe it's hard to get a blitz on this catcher, isn't it? Maybe he blitzes the catcher this turn and goes to the pickup and then next turn does the pass. The animations take so long. I know. It's a rough team. It's a rough team for Blitz Pit. <laughs> yeah, I guess he blitzes him and then just picks up. Oh, gets the gets the pow. Huge pow. Nice armor break here if he can get it. No. Mm. Gets the ball in hand at least. Gets in a bit of an eye cage, I guess. Yeah, a bit of one, yeah. Who will the favorite? It's next to, to a rackler. <laughs> um, I, I, I genuinely don't know, Dima. <laughs> I genuinely don't know who the favorites are to win. Uh, well, I guess it's the people in the. Well, it's not even. The, I guess it's the people in the winners bracket. Well, got to be the favorites. I, I think. I think Dio, Dio and Shawnee just always have great showings in Blitz Pit. Yeah. Boop. There goes Jack Bull. It's not a player he wants to lose. Wrestle horns. No, this is a real play. I mean, really, he's got to apple it, but then it's a death, so he really doesn't want to apple yeah. it. It's only 50 yep, 50. He doesn't. Yeah. Now he's really wishing he appled one of these. Badly hurts. Yeah. Wow, Rix is taking a lot of attrition. I didn't even notice how bad it was. Yeah, real bad. Yeah, I guess Diamond Show. Gregor can it. find a way to get this ball. Playing each other. They were absolutely rock hard today. <laughs> so was my cock. <laughs> oh, Kingslayer. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Thank you very much, dude. You're a dud. Glorious. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to have a better game. Coming. Really. Oh. oh, he fails the leap. Reroll out. It's it. Got it Downs that time. In. Here's the 2D. No, oh, 1D, one. sorry. Oh, and the skull. Yeah, he didn't cancel this one, so it's just a one. Yep. Just a one. And now he can chain these off. Not a problem. He really wants to. Uh... This is. It's going to be hard for Regor to advance this ball. No, it's easy. Well, I mean, like, into the hands of the other thrower. I'm more, it's more what I meant. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, you can, you can get to the uh, the blitzer, can't you? You can just hand off to the blitzer. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. <sighs> Still okay, though. Uh, yeah, okay. He's it's got a to move. Bit, yeah, it's a little bit problematic now because he really needs the pow. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he, does. he needs to just push. He needs to push the. Uh, uh, oh, the right. There's a, oh, God. I didn't see the stun guy. Yeah, the stun guy. I didn't guy see the stun really guy. There. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he gets the pow. He gets the pow. And the break. And the KO. 
Oh man, man, if he can get this into that into that blitzer's hands. Yep. Four two two. To score. It's got a reroll for it. It's not unlikely. It's not. It's more likely that he scores than he doesn't. Yeah. About well, I don't know. I've got no idea what it is. <laughs> uh, Unlike 50, 50. our odds with Regor, Regor's got a good chance to score here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he had to cheer for him. Oh, he's what? going to Oh, he's going to the other guy. Ooh, Did wow. he need to do that? I mean, it's the same. Oh, it's it same. pays off. He ran yeah, out of time. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Regor, no. <laughs> no, Regor, no. Oh. oh, my good lord. Oh. Oh. Regor really paying the blitz pit price there. Oh my yeah. goodness! Oh, I think I think the handoff to him was much better because you've got a standing Stop player who fails the handoff, everything. and also ah! if he if he fails the GFIs here, it's not as bad. And if he dies, yeah. then uh, it's not as bad because you've already made a million removals. So, oh, well, he makes the dodge. <laughs> makes both dodges. <laughs> Get the 2D, all the GFIs. Just Rick things oh here, by the way. Rick's gonna score, isn't he? Oh, removal. the injury! Completely. Oh, record, no record, no. Oh, he got time, he had four seconds left. Oh, he got wolfbarked. Oh, that's so fucking shitty. No, it is. That is so I don't so think he can make this pass. <laughs> oh, man. I don't think he's in range to make it pass. No, he wasn't. Wow. Yeah, I'm the wolf part before, didn't he? he had like six seconds left or something, and then it, it just evaporated. Oh, no. Imagine that ending your turn with four seconds Oh god, that's horrendous. <laughs> Please do, Jim. Please do. <laughs> Dear, why, why, why are you posting all of these emotes, Kingslayer? <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> oh, dear me. Quick snap. <laughs> Not Kingslayer! <laughs> So he is Rick. He's one somehow he's one nil up instead of one one. Rick got absolutely diced by the clock. But you know, Rick's had a lot of uh Rick's had taken a lot of attrition, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's definitely a chance here. Full full Camry squad coming at you. Yeah. But yeah, Rick has got to feel hard done by. Yeah, this is the final one. <laughs> the, the dive and catch shuffle pass. <laughs> yeah. Glorious. <laughs> That's it. It's booked though, isn't it? It's booked in this. Time and catch. It was a three plus catch and it should have been a two plus. Mm. So it actually didn't even do that good for him. It didn't really do anything for him. It's it's that good. was a uh, that was a lot of dice for that bear, but yeah. it might have paid off here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, you've got to send about a thousand less emotes every time you're watching Kingslayer. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> well, only, yeah, only you should, like, maybe you should have set up wider there. On, only like ten less sound effects, but a thousand less emotes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it. Was a it was not what you wanted. One to look like it's a few people to just give them the sideline like that. But having said that, it's really hard to stop because they have you so with uh, you know a slow and agile Camry team. They can just leap over you. If, you know, like obviously, if they've got a leap, they've got to roll more dice. So, but you should have. I mean, I would have set up wide. Obviously, who can say if it's right or wrong? Maybe on his PC he's 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, he absolutely should be 1-1, one, one, shouldn't he? I know, I know. Uh, I would have but, um, fanged everyone in this case, yes. In, real life, in this case, beat I them say. To within an inch of their fucking life. <laughs> in this case, I can say. It's just in rebel where no one's allowed to say anything. But you know, sometimes you can't say if it's right or wrong, can't you? Like sometimes it's. Uh... That's why I kind of hate that. If you, so you see something that's crap, and then them saying you can't say it's crap, it's just stupid because some things you can't say whether it was right or wrong. <laughs> just two plus to score, isn't it? Here, I guess you could yep. blitz first. One D blitz first. Let's see if you are. Uh, that's still a one to fail, but then it's an extra dice to roll. So do you just dodge? Maybe you just dodge. Straight dodge. See you help me. I know that, but you know, that was their rules. That was how I got a strike for like saying thing, saying crap play was crap play. Yeah, that's the thing. If you roll a two on that one, then, then, you, then uh, you don't score. Whereas if you roll a two on the dodge, you score. And if you roll a double one on the blitz, you don't score. So I think it was wrong. Just roll to do. two on both of them. Yeah. I think it was wrong to, uh, to do that from Rick. Oh, Rick! Wow. Straight dodge is better. The straight, the straight dot, the straight dodge is better because if you're all two plus, you score. And if you're all double one, you don't score. On the blitz, if you're all double one, you don't score. And if you're all two, you still don't make the dodge. So bit of a chance here, right near the extra arms. Yeah. Bro, Ra. You can surf him. Sure can. Probably not now. <laughs> oh God, nope. I hate that. No, uh, I mean he's st no, he's still good. He's still good. Yeah, I guess he could. Oh, no, not really, actually. Yeah. yeah, you could hit the other guy first, couldn't you? Just remove him the old-fashioned yeah. way. This is probably better, actually, because then, you know, he could have uh, he could hit the other guy. He couldn't have surfed him that way. Saves his blitz, he could surf the other guy now, yeah. yeah. Or he could surf the way better player to surf, too. Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. All right, everyone being better. No one likes a smart ass. <laughs> Who can say if it was right or wrong? <laughs> he makes he okay the, the two the extra arm. Oh no, I don't like this. This is a bit this is needlessly uh needlessly risky, isn't it? Oh, oh baby, it sure is. No, it's not gonna serve him either. Maybe you'll mm. get him off the pitch anyway. Oh, this is needlessly risky, the old ball carrier assist. Oh, boy. Man, if he wasn't a... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. If he wasn't based up on that bear, he could have been uh, fouling that wrestle strip guy. That poses a much larger threat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was it wasn't an auto break. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. nine with dirty players. So it wasn't if you had double one that, then there's a rowdy bear. Rex going right in. I mean the strip is no That's good. Strip. Yep. The strip yep. is no good though, because he's got sure hands, so Oh yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. 
And he skulls it. Regor now. There's a lot of open field here. Yeah. And like two Kislev players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to contend with. Yeah. Something tells me, Jim, we're gearing up for overtime. Unless Regor like pitch clears Rick. And then, yeah. Wouldn't that be a way to come oh, back into this horrible. game? that's horrible. That's genuinely terrible, isn't it? One assist. Does he think it's strength three? Like, double assist yeah. that. And smash it yeah. the bits. Listen, I don't want to be critical of a guy <laughs> that's pretty as Regor, but uh, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. They were absolutely rock Without hard being harsh today. In the and so was my cock. You'd expect. Better. <laughs> He's used his stat points on charisma. Brilliant. Yeah, like they look buff rowdy. They don't look strength two. If you don't know the strength two, you wouldn't think they were. Yeah, absolutely. They're so buff. <laughs> oh man, he loves he loves the he loves the old ball carrier assists. Makes me so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's not fouling. He's not even fouling with thirty player. Glorious. No, I won't oh, give right in right. until I'm victorious. <laughs> and I will defend. I will oh, defend. Oh, yeah, and just that decision's bad, isn't it? For Six months of forgetting not, not to turn off auto pay. Oh, glorious. Thank you very much, Fluffy Burrito, for continuing forget to turn off auto pay. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. <laughs> six months. Wait, that's 19 months. Why is that six months of auto pay? But whatever it is, thank you very much for staying fantastic for 19 months total. Uh, but, uh, oh, it's a six month streak. Right, there you go. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious. What's that? Nearly five Who Beaver pregnancies. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's true, Wolfpack. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> But yeah, I guess if you don't know catches or strength two, they don't look strength two. Much the same way as uh what's it called? Ulf winners don't look strength four. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's just the uh you can you can utilize the funeral march formation from White Dwarf. <laughs> this should be an easy score here. And it's gonna be tough for Rick in overtime, but you know he can still two turn. As he nearly did. Yeah, maybe Regor will learn from his mistakes, though, and set up a bit wider. <laughs> if he loses the toss, if, yeah. Uh, if it, yeah, if it, if it comes down to it, yeah. You'd think so. <laughs> I just get the sense that somehow Rick's going to get a fucking bear dodge in <laughs> to hit the ball yeah. before this is all said and done. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against it. I already had one epic round of bear dodging. Oh, oh, I thought he was going for the full Death Star. So did I, yeah. That would have been better than what he's done. <laughs> <laughs> and again, not being a dick, it just it just would statistically be better. I guess this way he yeah. gets to remove a player, and maybe he's two. So, this is fine, to be fair. But the ball would be safer if it was in a, it was in a nine man cage. I love when I did the nine man cage against uh, Russ. Oh, wow. Oof, Corn Knight running up the score. Rough afternoon for Store there. Yeah. I mean, you'd, ex you'd expect people to beat Halflings, wouldn't you, to be fair? It's like Store's really good, isn't he? Yeah. Really good at Blood yeah. Bowl, but Halflings are just yeah. trash. <laughs> TBH. At least he got a win, didn't he? He's got to be. He's got to be happy with that. Yeah, that's CCL, isn't it, Bezel? Bezel. Yeah, no, I know he's pretty good. I'm, I'm said he's pretty good, but just it's just a terrible choice to win the tournament, isn't it? Like winning one game 
is yeah, he's got to be happy about that. He's, he's won, he's won one game. Like you can't expect to do much better than that, no matter how good you are with flings, because flings are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Halflings are trash. There's nothing wrong with that statement. Halflings are absolutely terrible. It's just more. <laughs> I, I never thought. I never thought I'd see this many people fucking stick up for the halfling team. I know, right? It's like, yeah. Things are terrible. Store's brilliant, but halflings are terrible. That's not, it's not. I'm not having a quiet store at all. <laughs> store the human is great at blood bowl. The halflings, the fantasy race, are terrible at the fantasy sport of blood bowl and the real board game of blood bowl. <laughs> of course they can dice people sometimes but not not as well as goblins can dice people I think I think I probably lost more to, heart, to goblins than halflings just because goblins have got all the secret weapons haven't they can really remove a bunch of guys against people Oh dear me. We're more into the Portuguese men around these parts. Yeah. Yeah, obviously when it comes to the rule set, like, you know, when when there's a rule set, if there's a rule set, the rule sets can massively favour some teams, can't they? You know, in terms of, like, uh, the World Cup, for example, the Cyanide World Cup was a great rules package for humans. And humans are just objectively worse than undead and wood elves and dark elves. But... Yeah. When they get when they get a night when they get the tiering and, and bonus skills and stuff, they can obviously end up be, you know being better. So like you know you could easily make halflings better by just saying everyone gets a thousand TV and no skills. Halflings get two thousand TV, can roster star players, and get forty two skills. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then they'd be pretty good, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, yeah. The 16 armor breaks per game is pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> Another removal there on the Kislev. Apo keeps him alive, but Apo yep. now gone. Rick's going to need some KO magic to have any sort of chance in overtime. Yep. And also, He's this is Rick's receiving, so he, he only gets the one shot. Oh. oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yep, good call. Mm. So realistically, three, four, five. Up to seven. Up to seven players for overtime. That's not looking good. And he is going to keep fouling this guy. Uh, this bear. Yeah, he is. Here comes the DP. It's possible I was premature in my uh, estimation of what that bear would pull off by the end of this game. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, here comes Rick. <laughs> He's in! The madman. Does he stick a reroll in here? Uh, I don't know. I guess he probably should. Like, because if he wins the toss, he only needs two rerolls to yeah. score. <laughs> yeah, there it is! <laughs> what an idiotic reroll! I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if he if he loses the toss, uh, if he loses the toss, he, he probably loses the game, right? And if he wins yeah. the toss, he only needs two rerolls to score pickle. That could be the best shot he has on the ball for the rest of this game. So yeah, yeah I think it's the right call. Hindsight disagrees with both of us. Mm. <laughs> Shotty calling for the reroll and calling it a terrible reroll, covering all his bases. I like it. Yep. Fuck off! <laughs> oh wow, thank you, Bazaar. Bazaar. <laughs> oh, I love the old Bazaar. <laughs> oh, that was a good foul. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely overestimated the value of the bear for the remainder of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Rick. Poor Rick. <laughs> At least Sinai didn't jip him out of a touchdown. <laughs> if, you, if you're gonna get pounded by Regor, please, in the future, Rick, make it sexual. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. I think that's the, that's the thing, right? If he loses the toss, he probably loses whether he's got two or three. And if he wins, he only he wants to score in two turns, so he needs two rerolls. So, probably worth it. Yeah. It's Rick just debate. Yeah, he's just going to leave him down. There's no point in doing anything else. All right, here comes the fun part. <laughs> well, I got to say... We left Regor for dead, and here he is, going into OT. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was just a slight, it was just a slight mistake by Rick as well, wasn't it? The way the dice turned out, that slight mistake cost him. Yep. And it was, I mean, it was still very unlucky dice-wise, but then to be fair, it was really unlucky for Regor that he got jipped out of a touchdown and so on. All set up because Regor's brilliant play to bait Rick in by going not wide and letting him try to two turn it. <laughs> Regor really just really streets ahead on that uh, defense. No oh, streets ahead. Streets ahead. So Rick has got four players. And... There we go. Now, see, Regor knows he knows exactly how to how to defend the wide zones Who against four players. Player? <laughs> Who wants to move this dirty player though? That's a, yeah, that's a better way to defend. Yeah. That's a better way to defend. I think you probably want to expose the uh, throw right yeah, and keep the uh, yeah. keep the yep. tackler behind. Yeah, put him there. So you got blockers. Blockers holding the yep. interior. No, I don't like that. Put the dirty player in the middle. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I do agree there. Well, this will be a story to tell if Rick is able to get down that field and score it. Yeah. Woo. Oh, he needs someone back for the ball, though. <laughs> he can't. He can't. someone back for the ball? I think the, uh, the catcher should stand in the middle of all those three in case it's a blitz. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. And then the throw, the catcher can run back for the ball. Yeah. Cheering friends, friends, <laughs> cheering friends for them. Squid bear frog super cereal. Oh well, nice, nice scatter. Yeah. Nice scatter for the uh, the no uh, the, the no man deep. <laughs> oh, double red. Oh boy. Could this be happening, folks? <laughs> yeah. There's the double red that should have happened in the previous game that we saw with the Dark Elves. Was in. <laughs> and it works out this time. And yeah, Rick can get a sideline cage going here. <laughs> he's gone too far yeah, ahead. Yeah, he can. Yeah, he's got to come back when he's, he's gone too far. What's he doing? Not if he passes, I guess. Let's see what's... Who's what, where, how? Oh, I didn't like that at all. Oh. He could have gone oh, back dear. He could have yeah. gone there and he could have just dodged out with the catcher and picked it up and double yep. GFI. 1, yep. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Wow, that's pretty cool sort of field for him. How is he beat how is he beating them all? Or like not today. He hasn't won them all, otherwise he wouldn't have played three games. <laughs> well he's played Di he played Dio in the first round. And lost. And then he played Yeah. Oh yeah, and he lost. Yeah, he didn't he And then he played K Fogged. One. Yeah, you can't yeah. beat them. And Wolf Park. Yeah, yeah, I don't know it. You, you only get to play three games today if you lost one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Mexicution is uh, taking it to the Blitz Pit, making the most of his opportunities. Yeah, very good, very good effort. This is looking bad, isn't it, now for Rick? But I mean, if there's a failed pickup here. He's got the catcher and yeah. he's got the scoring threat, so sure does. He's, he's got a one in four chance of a really good shout to, to win. Oh, 
No. Oh, it's not wild for it's wild well, yeah. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> it was the one in nine, wasn't it? Because he's got his extra arms. He's got it. Yeah, the old extra arms there. Oh god, he's fucked now, isn't he? <laughs> Here comes a miracle play by Rick. <laughs> Another one, I think. Yeah. To school, he rolls it. Stretch in effective. And that is probably all she rolled. I think maybe I would have just kept that guy as a score threat. Is he still a score threat? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just in case, you know. Yeah. Does he surf one of these guys? He could, couldn't he? He's got so many blocks, he could probably surf them both. To be honest. <laughs> Jesus. Doesn't need it for that guy. Doesn't break though. You can surf this guy, couldn't you? But then he's on the floor next to him, so you put him on there. Yeah. Yeah, just take him with that yeah, just put him on the ground. No, it doesn't put him on the ground. Doesn't go for the follow up 3D either. Mm. I mean, that, that again makes the reroll look a bit worse because Rick can still just keep throwing these uphills at him, can't he? I don't know if I like bringing the ball that close to the sideline. Mm. Against Kislev. I mean, it's not that close, but I feel like the middle of the field there. Yeah. Got yeah, plenty of time. Yeah, you, you don't want to make him just roll one leap in as well, do you? Like, at the moment, this is just one yeah. leap. And you can, you can also yep. leap the uh, leap the catcher as well, get guard in. So you can, I mean, at the moment, obviously, he might power the catcher and break his armor. But if he doesn't break the armor of the catcher, the catcher can just leap in for a guard. And then he can leap in for a 1D. With Russell. With Russell, yeah. And okay, there's no real recovery or anything else. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't even take well, I that think hit. that's exactly what we're going to see here. Yep. Yeah. It's still probably not going to matter at the end of the day. Oh, he's just going for the uphill. I guess he wants a recovery. Yeah. Oh, he's got him free for another turn. Yeah, no, I think I think it was right to leap in. Rock hard today. But and so was my like talk. It's really mad, is it? Even if he powers him there, unless he gets a crazy lucky scatter out to him, and like this, basically, he's basically shit out of luck, isn't he? <laughs> and, and like, and like that was his last reroll too. So yeah. like, you might as well make that your one D, your best option. Yeah, it was like it was so hard for it to all work that it was basically no chance. Now he gets, he finally gets a cage with all guard in the corners. People have really struggled with the uh, with the old cages today, haven't they? <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like I, I struggle with you know with cages against wood elves uh, in Blitz Pit because they actually had players on the field, you know, and I had to get forward somehow. <laughs> and this is people where they have no no opposing players on the pitch. <laughs> They've just steadfastly refused to uh, to protect the ball properly. Not what I would have done, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great at year B, isn't it? <laughs> Gets the foul in. There we go. Another cast. There he goes, and I think that, I mean, not that this wasn't already over, but I don't think we're going to see uh, much else from Rick on this one. 
But he's not going to concede, is he? He's going to dodge through and leap and blitz with this blitzer, probably. Well, he's got he's got the he's got the strength too down there. <laughs> Triple red die. No, no, you run down with a blitzer. I know. Yeah. And then then you then your edge four yeah. picks it up and lobs yep. it away. Brilliant. Yep. And in fact, the lino can leap away and run and double J fire away, and then he can just score. Fantastic. This is foolproof. Well, Rick's watching the stream, apparently. <laughs> Here he comes. This is a foolproof plan. Can't go wrong. <laughs> Dicks the landing. Here's uh, the hit. No. <laughs> the skull into a cast, probably. Nope, not a cast. Just the skull. Yeah. 3D this catcher with block and tackle. Yeah. If he doesn't break yeah. armor on the catcher, we got another yeah. shot at that same play. But yeah, he doesn't look strength three though, does he? he really no, it's certainly not. Three. So if you don't know strength this two. character is strength two, you yeah. think he was strength three. Yeah. Just gonna advocate for the full Death Star one more time here. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I guess he could have made it, but then I don't know. It's not that good. He wouldn't have advanced much, yeah. There's definitely a time and a place for the Death Star. Hit pack. Does he have an hit pack? It's fucking moving too much. Yeah. That's uh, six pack. You might have another one under there. You can't see. You can't see his lower rods because of the the sash. <laughs> <laughs> listen, li listen. Speaking from experience, uh, the larger your pack does not mean the fitter you are. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Bezor. Ducky! Wow! Wow! Unbelievable, Jeff. Try has gone through the fucking ringer on his uh, ladder. <laughs> on there, or is fucking K folk PC Ducky? <laughs> Does that uh, complete the pitch clear? No, no, he's got he's got one left. Oh, still one left. Oh, come on, you've got a blitz in. You've got to blitz him, Rego. He's not even in range of the ball. You've got to blitz him. No! No! Why would you not blitz him? No, it doesn't achieve anything, obviously. Good oh, guy, Rego. Rego versus Unseen Walker. Ooh, that's going to be a, a battle. Yeah. <laughs> that, uh, that, tense, uh, that tense Doom Roller or Death Roller could, uh, could be effective. <laughs> Yeah, like especially in Blitz Pit, though, there's often three halves. It's it's really bad to, get, <laughs> to stick one of the mutations on it. But never mind. It's still fun that you did it for the memes. I did it as well for the memes one time, and it is it is fun having a technical <laughs> controller. Even if it's not the most effective thing in the world. Oh, glorious, Elliot. Thank you very much. Absolutely glorious raid. Wow, big boy raid from Elliot. Massive. Thank you very much, Elliot. Elliot Good really words. wanted his uh, viewers to watch you sign off. <laughs> yeah, it was so nice of you, Elliot. You've come in right at the most... I mean, this is the most exciting part of the game, to be honest, for about the last hour. <laughs> um, it has been pretty pretty, pretty much uh, over oh, for about an hour. Yeah. But there you go, it was just a massacre. Oh, uh, Rick God. got massacred. Yeah. And Regor got chipped oh. by the turn counter bug. Turn time counter bug. So, um... His turn, his turn ended with four seconds left when he was going to score. So, um, yeah, that was that was very unlucky for Rego, but then he got very lucky in the game, absolutely slaughtered the shit out of Rick. Um, so, rip Rick. But congrats, Rego. Uh, screw was personal favourite for <laughs> this tournament. <laughs> oh, baby. I can't wait to dream about tomorrow's rounds with Rego. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much, Skurov. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.